Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome back to what's the output video series on C programming language. So just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and try to guess the output of this program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. All right, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And the answer for this program is gonna be one in the first line and hello in the second line. So now why the heck we're gonna get the output like this. So if you look at this source code here, first we have a variable called a and we have stored the value 100 in that variable. And then we have a if block and in this if condition we have a printf statement and then minus 2. And inside this if block we have a while loop and then some statements. So now when the program executes, first you know this variable a will be assigned a value of 100 and then this if condition will be checked. So here we have printf statement and this minus 2. So first this printf statement will be executed. So now just concentrate on this printf function. So inside this printf function, we are printing an integer value and we are uh, checking whether this a is containing a value greater than or equal to 100. So here a is containing 100 and that's why this one will evaluate to true. So it will produce the result one. So it's gonna be like printf function, percentage d and then one. So it's gonna print out one. And that's why, you know, we're gonna get this one in the first line. And after that, this printf function is gonna return the number of characters it has successfully printed. Here, this printf function has printed one and uh, that's why the number of characters it has printed is one. So this printf function is gonna return a value of one and after this printf function it's gonna be like if one minus two now one minus two is gonna evaluate to minus one so after that it's gonna be if minus one and the thing is in c zero is considered as false and any value other than zero is considered as true so here minus one is considered as true and that's why this if condition will satisfy. So we're gonna execute the statements which are inside this if block. So now coming to the um, statements which are inside the if block. First we have a while loop and the condition of this while loop is containing one which means true and that's why this while loop condition will always be true. And that's why you know we move on to execute the statements which are inside this while loop. So we're gonna print out a new line and then hello. So we're gonna get one and then the new line and then hello. After that, we have this break statement. And because of this break statement, our control will come out of this while loop. So we're gonna come out of this while loop and we're gonna execute this while loop only once. So after coming out of this while loop, we don't have any other statement to execute inside this if block. So we're gonna come out of this if block and our program is gonna execute the other statements and finish is execution. So that's why, you know, we're gonna get the output one in the first line and hello in the second line. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have learned something and uh, you guys can uh, watch more tutorials like this in my YouTube channel Learning Lad and follow me on Twitter at Learning Lad EDU, like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and I'll see you in the next tutorial.